If you look up at the night sky, you'll see hundreds of stars. Every time we look up, we have a specific field of view and see a specific portion of the sky. Objects that are both nearby and a great distance away appear in the same view. Beyond those stars and beyond your vision are a mix of solar systems and galaxies. And how far we can see is dependent on the quality of what we can observe. It's dependent on how great our vision is. If we rewind the clock 13.8 billion years ago, there were no stars and no night sky. Before the Earth, the planets, the sun or the moon, the galaxies and the universe. Before everything, there was a singularity. There was the Big Bang. Today, and from what we can observe, the universe has expanded to 46 billion light years in radius, but beyond that, we do not know. Is the universe infinite? Does the universe go on forever? And is there a beyond? To answer these questions, we need to look further into the universe. And when we look into the universe, we're also actually looking back through time. If we look back far enough, and about two and a half million light years away, we'll see our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda. But the galaxy that we actually see is from about two and a half million years ago. This is because of the amount of time that light needs to travel. And the same is true for other and further galaxies. If our view was unlimited, we could see the history and how the universe progressed. We'd even see galaxies from millions and billions of years ago. By measuring the universe, we'll understand how it's developed over time to what it is today. When we look backwards, we can measure the universe with three factors. The rate of expansion, heat, and the composition of the universe. Looking back towards the Big Bang and its early events and comparing the universe's size and age, we can determine the universe to be 13.8 billion years old and 46.1 billion light years in radius. It's unsure if the universe is extremely large or infinitely big, but from a few inferences, we believe that the universe is flat since light rays do not curve. If the universe were closed or open, light rays would bend. We can also see how big the universe is and when it closes in on itself. From observations, we believe that the universe must be at least 37 trillion light years in diameter, if not even larger. But does a flat universe mean that it's infinite? It's believed that the universe is flat and closed in on itself, similar to that of a cylinder or a can. However, flat might not actually be what you think it means. If you have a piece of paper and draw parallel lines on it, the parallel lines will continue to be parallel. This is considered flat. If you drew parallel lines on a globe, they'll ultimately converge because of the curvature of the Earth. Now if you take your flat piece of paper with the parallel lines and wrap it together so that it becomes a cylinder, the parallel lines remain parallel. And by definition, this means that cylinders are flat. The universe's shape may also best be compared to the shape of a pancake. Because the universe is so large, the curvature of the edges can be considered flat, almost like how we perceive the horizon of the Earth to be flat. So the universe most likely isn't infinite. It's finite and pancake-shaped. So we likely cannot go to infinity. But what about beyond what we can observe? We'll eventually be able to observe new areas of the universe since it continues to expand. There will always be areas of the universe outside of our view, and always be something beyond what we can accurately observe. The universe is only so old, and light travels only so fast. There are a few theories though. One is that there's a super universe, a space outside of our space, or a universe that is indeed infinite or that billions of light years away from us may be other island universes similar to ours. And another is that we are creating additional space as our universe expands. Outside of our universe is another dimension that we can't observe. Really, there are many theories, and what we actually know and can observe is very small compared to what is actually out there in the universe. 
However, as time progresses, we'll begin to unravel some of the mysteries of our own universe. We'll begin to understand more, but perhaps also wonder more about the unknown. But it's fair to say that the concept of the unknown keeps us curious and fascinated with what may be outside of our view. And the greatest thing about the unknown is that it is unknown. We might not ever know or understand the entirety of our universe or what's beyond it. 